Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I am going to review the XX Data D608 Emergency Radio. And this just went on sale today. I had this radio for a few months. Uh, they had reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test this radio, so that's what I've been doing for the last few months. And uh, I'm going to give you my, my overall review on this radio. Um, right now, it is on sale. The regular price on this radio, uh, they listed at $36.29. Of course, there is uh, right now it is on sale for $28.99, which is a great deal. It's a great deal for this radio, what you're going to get on this radio. And I'll give you my final take on it in a few minutes. So let's just go over a few things here real quick. This is, of course, the... Uh, Tuning up and down. Um, also, if you press and hold it, it'll be also a scan, like an eight, uh, ATM scan and so on. Okay? So you can scan with that. This is the volume button, of course. You know, volume up, volume down, and self-explanatory there. You have your power button here, your memory and set button. It also has a couple of other functions. Um, you know, some of them have, actually, most of them have several other functions in it. Uh, I think, uh, for example, one is to uh, shut off the uh, alarm. Okay. Of course, this is the band, band select. Okay, so you can select, uh, I turn it on here. Let me lower the volume. You can select, you go through the short wave, the uh, weather band, FM, medium wave. Okay. So you have your band select there. Okay. And of course, you have your alert here. Also, the display. You can change the display. Okay. And you have this button right here, which is when you're using on when you're using Bluetooth with the, uh, your smartphone. There is a small microphone right there. I have not used this feature. <clears throat> uh, there is a small microphone there. Obviously, because right now I'm recording, but I don't really care for the feature. Uh, there's a microphone there. And I guess, you know, when you have it on Bluetooth, you can answer your phone just by pressing this button and also hanging up on it when it's on Bluetooth. Okay, there's a charge indicator light there. And this is a lamp. Okay, and the lamp, what it does is I'll show you. This is a solar panel here, right? So what it does, there's a little notch right here. You can, uh, this is the lamp. This big white, uh, don't, and please, when you get this, when you buy this radio, this is not an adhesive. Don't try to put it, this is, this whole white thing is the, the lamp, okay? Don't make, don't do that. I mean, you know, it's tempting to look like it's a, you just want to peel it, but it's not. There's nothing to peel. That's just the, that's the whole LED right there. And I'll show you. There is a, you turn on the lamp, you see. I know the camera's kind of more, with the lens is more difficult to see. And I demonstrated all this on my live stream. Okay, there is three brightness settings. Okay, so there is actual a lamp. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Okay, that is a lamp. And there's also a solar panel. But you know, if you're, for example, you can adjust the different angles on it. For example, if I had this on the windowsill. I can point it toward the uh, the sun itself and have it right there. Or if you're in an angle, you can, you know. So this is a nice little thing there with the uh, movable solar panel. I like that feature. Okay, this is the SOS button. It's also the flashlight button. As you can see, you have three. Is it three settings, I believe? Three brightness settings? Okay, yes, three brightness settings. <clears throat> for the flashlight, okay? And you turn it off. Now, if you press it and hold it, it's going to activate the... Alarm, okay? So, that is the SOS button. It's the same thing like with the uh, D109. You familiar with the SOS button? Except that, of course, there's no flashlight here. And this one will... I don't know sound the alarm, but it'll activate a red light flashing. 
Oh, uh, flashing red light, excuse me. Okay, of course, you got your whip antenna here. It is uh, fairly long for a radio this small. It does work well with it. Okay. And then, of course, in my case, uh, it was covered with this rubber thing, but unfortunately, mine fell off. Um, it was more my fault. Uh, actually, when I was pulling out the power cord, I kind of, you know, I guess my, my sausage fingers, and pull, you know, pinched it and pulled out this rubber gasket. And I'm having a hard time putting back in there. But anyway, it doesn't matter because I don't really, I'm not going to use this for the, uh, I don't, you know, I'll get into that in a second about the, whether it's rainproof. Because somebody did ask me about that. And when I'm looking at these buttons, uh, I don't think this is going to be uh, waterproof in terms of like, uh, especially the gasket. The gasket just kind of fell right off. You know, it wasn't that, it wasn't that strong of a pull, but it did come off. So I'm not going to say that this is radio is going to be waterproof in terms of uh, maybe a, a drizzle or something like that. And that's what I mean by waterproof, not to dunk it in the, in the bucket or anything like that or in the, in the water. People get, people want to say when they see waterproof, they think it could just, <laughs> no, uh, maybe a small drizzle, but I don't think I will even go that far with, 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 with it. Uh, cause somebody asked me the actual, I was it IPX rating or something on it. I said, no, I don't have no idea. They haven't, they didn't post that in the information on that on their website. So I have no idea. I'm going to say no, I, I will not, uh, well, not not any type of uh, you know have it in the rain or anything like that or even a small drizzle. I don't even think I would want to do that with this radio. Okay, just telling you my opinion on it. Okay, and of course you got your USB, so you can charge uh, another device. Of course you got your earphone jack here. Of course USB C for your you know charging. Uh, SD micro SD card here, or TF card as they call it. Uh, they can handle up to thirty two. It can read up to thirty two gigabytes of micro SD card. The tuning has the same kind of small tuning thingy, the, the fast tuning, which I am not a big fan of. I am not a fan of that. I wish they would use a, a kind of a stand, but that's just my opinion on it. I think the tuning. I wish they would have not do that. And, you know, because I, I, my fingers are pretty, you know, like I said, I have sausage fingers, and I think it's just the tuning is not the, not a fan of the tuning. And, of course, you got your lanyard here, and you have this other uh, thing here. You can put a car, uh, carabine, carabiner or some kind of clip if you want. It is plastic, though, okay? And, of course, the back, you do have the dynamo handle okay it does work i did test it oh excuse me i did test it it does work and you know you can charge it this way if you have no other means of charging it okay and the solar panel itself i charged it using solar it took uh i had it on the window so i basically almost drained the battery and I had it on the solar for, uh, I believe it was uh, about three or four hours, and they charged it. I don't want to say fully charge it, because, of course, solar charging is not as fast as you plugging it in and charging it. Just remember that, that when you're going to do solar charging, it's a lot slower than you plug it in the USB, you know, US, USB cord into the, you know, the out, uh, um, power source. Now, reception... I'm going to start with short wave. So short wave reception on this radio, I'm going to say it's good. Right now I'm in the basement. Of course, I'm in a very noisy environment, and I'm only using the telescoping whip. And you can hear. I can hear, you know, short wave. Okay. So I'm going to say short wave reception on this radio is good. It's good. I had no, no issues with it on short wave. Of course, a uh, weather radio like this is not going to have bandwidth filters. I want to bring that up because uh, I don't want people to ask me later on. Does it, it does not have any bandwidth filters for any of the bands. 
because it is an emergency radio. It's not a full uh, featured radio like this one, for example, the D109 WB. It's not going to be anything like that. It doesn't have any bandwidth filtering. So if that's something you're looking for. It's not going to be on this radio. It's just an emergency uh, weather radio. Uh, of course, uh, it doesn't have a keypad either. Remember, so you're going to have to scan and then it'll put it in, you know, it'll, it'll put into memory the stations and then you can tune it here or you can manually tune it here. But you know, like I said, this is kind of uh, <laughs> not for the short wave is not the best uh, tuning method. You're going to have it's better to just scan and tune and have your presets and then you can go through your presets. Okay. So I'm going to say shortwave reception on this radio is good. So let's talk about medium wave reception. Medium wave reception on this radio is good. Um, you know, I'm going to say, you know, um, actually, I, I might even go even above average because it does pick up all the stations that I should pick up with most of my medium wave radios. Okay. Uh, another thing I noticed about this radio, it is not, it's not as prone to interference Compared to this one, okay, I noticed that the, this radio is uh, much better when it comes to uh, handling, uh, you know, uh, not getting overloaded. I have not tried any external antenna because it does not have any external antenna connectors, or I have not tried the uh, the uh, loop antenna, you know, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, external, the AN, the Texan AN two hundred passive loop on medium wave. I have not tried that. I just used it as is. I had it in the basement. I was able to pick up a few distant stations like KXCL 1540 out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. It did pick it up. I was able to hear it, hear it very well. Uh, other stations too. So I'm going to say this radio on medium wave is, is a good radio. It's a good radio on medium wave. Of course, FM reception on this radio is good. I'm going to turn that on for a second here. Lines 1233. I got 27 min minutes with you before Duff. All right. I'm going to uh, play music right now. I'm not going to tune right now. I don't want it to be a super duper long video. But I'm going to tell you, FM reception on this radio is good. Weather band on this radio works good. I was able to get three out of seven weather channels. So I'm going to say that this radio, weather, uh, weather band reception is, is good. And, um, of course, it's available only in North America. In the United States, we have NOAA. In Canada, we have, they have Environment Canada. And every other part of the world, there is no weather band. So keep that in mind when you're looking to purchase this radio. On those frequencies, you're not going to be able to pick up anything. Of course, this has the 18650 battery. As you can see, I wasn't going to mention that earlier, and I'm just going to mention it now. Of course, this one is a 2,000 milliamp battery. Um, This one, when they sent me this radio, I had to use this one from my D109. The battery that comes with this one is actually going to be, uh, I believe, a 3,000 milliamp battery. Okay, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be this 2,000 milliamp battery. I didn't, I didn't think it is 3,000 milliamp battery that's going to be included with the radio. Okay, so I just want to mention that because... um. I did not get that when I got this uh, prototype uh, for testing. It did not come with. The, it did not have any battery at all. It didn't even have instructions or nothing. They just sent it to me for testing, and I had to borrow a battery from another radio to put it here. Okay. Now my overall review on the radio. I'm gonna say it is a buy. It is a great. I'm gonna say they hit a home run with this radio. When I mentioned it, I mentioned it a couple of months ago. Or so. And I did not, I couldn't disclose the radio at the time, but I said that when I said Zeta was going to introduce uh, this radio in the market, they were going to hit a home run because, um, number one, this is the first truly emergency radio that I says Zeta has launched. And they check all the boxes. Okay. Uh, pretty much all the boxes checked. Um, for the price you're getting on this radio, the MSRP price is going to be $36.29. However, it's on sale for $28. And 99 cents at their website right now. Um, it is a great buy. Okay. Uh, it, 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 I, I'm blown away by um, overall this radio, especially at the price. So under $37 is a full feature emergency radio. 
Um, I can only compare it to, I have two emergency radios. Well, I have one I sold, which was the Midland ER210. Um, this radio blows away that radio. The G Storm G, uh, the G Project G Storm AM FM radio. I'm going to make a review on that soon. This radio blows away that. So this is going to be pretty much by far for the price, $36.29. I believe it's going to be the best emergency radio at that price. Okay, I do not have the C Crane CC Solar. I don't have any other of those. Uh, the San Gian, I don't have any of those. And I, so I cannot make a direct comparison on it. But I'm going to tell you, XHZ, I hit a home run with this radio. Okay, so definitely it's a buy. No doubt about that. At $36.29 regular price, this is the best bang for your buck for emergency radios. Okay, so I'm definitely going to give it a thumbs up and they hit a home run with this radio. So thank you, SH Data, for reaching out to me and sending me this radio for testing. You guys did a wonderful job with this radio. And I want to say thank you guys for watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel for more radio-related videos like this. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.